Want to take us through the last five days of changing your life? Yeah, whirlwind. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of crazy. I was getting ready to, uh, you know, to play in a game, um, you know, last Thursday, and you know, I get a call. Hey, uh, you know, Brandon wants to talk to you, and I was like, oh gosh, <laughs> uh, can't be good. Um, but it ended up being, you know, um, an amazing. Uh, amazing thing um you know when you first look at being traded you know especially as a young guy you kind of you know you get in your own head a little bit and then you realize that you know you're going to a team that wants you and that that's you know kind of how the browns went about it you know they showed that they wanted me so that's you know it's an absolute blessing um to one be here and uh two to compete on this team i mean we're talking about a really good team and you know i'm, I'm blessed to be here did you see it coming at all no 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 I was in the hot tub getting ready to uh, to go for a game. I was not expecting to uh, to get draft uh, to get traded, but ended up well. So Buffalo and Cleveland great two uh, spots. Technically, I'm so happy that it was to Cleveland because it was only a three-hour drive, so I could uh, go grab my stuff real quick and um, and get back over here and you know find a place to live. Yeah. No doubt. So talk about him and now moving over to another Yeah, yeah. Um, I th I, you know, Josh and I were really close. Um, so my ex, uh, my ex girlfriend and his girlfriend were really, really close. We've, you know, I've since broken up with uh, my ex girlfriend, but um, Josh and I still stay close. You know, um, you know, maybe Brittany doesn't want to be around too often, but uh, <laughs> but Josh will hang out with me. Um, but no, it's. Uh, you know, he's a good guy. He's in a, you know, he's a character. Um, you know, he's a fun guy to be around. Um, you know, he, you know, character is the best word I could use to describe him. He is, you know, he's something else. Um, but you know, I knew Baker a little bit. Uh, you know, through through two different ways. I uh, met him through the Senior Bowl, same with Josh. Um, but also, uh, one of my old quarterbacks who uh, transferred from Texas Tech to Virginia Tech, Michael Brewer, actually knew him. So you know, first thing I say to uh, say to him is, hey, you know, Brewer says uh, says uh, shut up or something like that, and you know. Yeah. He, you know, starts laughing. It's like we got along real well. So, um, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited to work with them. You know, excited to work with two guys who, uh, you know, prove they can do it week in and week out. And uh, you know, it's a blessing to be a young guy blocking for young guys who, uh, you know, want to be your friend and hang out with you. You know, some of those older guys they just want to hang out with their family and wife and everything. So, it's nice to nice to get a guy to hang out with. So, Ryan, when you move from one team to a, another so close to the start of the season, how much is there? to learn, to, um, to be ready. To <laughs> a lot, in. a lot. Uh, this playbook, I mean, it's an NFL playbook, so, you know, it's it's a lot, um, words and plays and all this stuff. Um, you know, not only that, but, you know, spiritually, you got there's a lot that you got to deal with, uh, you know, emotionally being traded to another team. You know, right now, like I said, these past five days have been a whirlwind, you know. Um, basically just... You know, trying to you know get in here, dive you know head first into what what uh, what coach is talking about. Um, you know, you know embracing the competition and you know working for everything uh, you got. It, I mean, it starts with learning the plays, and that's uh, that's kind of where I'm at now. Is uh, you know um, is getting it, and you know that's that's what's nice about having Coach Dable at uh, Buffalo is his playbook was hefty. So if I can uh, replace some of those things with with this, it should go well. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a good question for him again. But, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, the dream is to start everywhere you go, uh, you know, start every game. I mean, there's a guy over there who did uh, 10,000 snaps straight. You know, that that would be pretty cool. Um, so, you know, it's, you know, it's kind of just, you know, taking it day by day, um, you know, trying to improve, learn, you know, kind of what I was saying uh, to him is just, you know, learn the plays, you know, basically, you know, uh, take away any doubt of uh, of anybody else. You know that's the kind of mindset. Uh, play your butt off and you know embrace what what they're doing here. So wait, so on the left side and the right side, are you okay, right guard? <laughs> okay, I don't know. I mean, um, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that's all relative. I mean, yeah, I think that uh, I can play at this level at right guard, yes sir. But I am more experienced, which would be a better word for, at left guard. Once you catch your breath and you play, bro, what do you bring as a player? Toughness. I mean, this team is. I remember when we uh, played preseason um, versus the Browns last year. Um, you know, the team was tough. We went out there and they were smacking us around. And you know, that was that was one thing. You go in there and you know, you see how different this team is from one year to the next. Um, you know, they're building on it. It's it's a, it's a special thing to be a part of. 
Um, so I guess uh, kind of bring what everybody else is bringing, you know, that toughness, that uh, the mentality of, you know, if you, even if you know the play, it's all right. We're gonna, we're still gonna get five yards on you. Hey Wyatt, when you uh, became that starter, there was seven games to go. Was there an injury, or did you just uh, get better then? We got your replacement. Well, what happened? Um, you know, it, I think it was a transition to youth. Um, I, I don't think that they just gave me the position. But I, I do think that they were planning on the future. So, you know, getting some experience, you know, there's not a lot of guys, um, you know, well, technically a lot of the offensive line who are my age, you know, have a couple starts. But, um, you know, there's not a lot of guys who are year two who have seven starts. You know, it's, uh, it's nice that, you know, they let me do that. Um, there were no injuries. Uh, I think it was just a transition to youth. How much are you looking forward to the matchup? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking excited. I, I go against them. I went against them every day in practice. So, you know, they'll probably know what's going on and know to stay uh, stay away from these guys. <laughs> so, so when you're in that hot tub and, and you get told that GM wants to talk to you, do you think you're getting cut? Or, or um, I no, I don't know. Okay. This is my first rodeo. You know, the old saying is, you know, this isn't my first rodeo. But then, no, that was my first rodeo. So, <laughs> so no, it, it's an old experience. I mean, right after you know he told me what happened, I was like. Oh, what's going? Do I go play? And they were like, No, 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 no. no. <laughs> You're gonna get a call. Okay, cool. So it was a home game. You were it was a home game. You were in the stadium. Uh, yes, just got had got to the stadium, and I uh, got a call. So, you know, it ended up pretty good. I'm happy where I'm at. Did you try to get in the car and get here in the time? To play? Yeah, no, that's exactly what uh what Coach Kitchley said. He goes, It's five o'clock, three hour drive. You can get here by halftime. So, <laughs> all right, Coach, give me a jersey. But yeah, it was, uh, you know, I had my family in town, they came for the game. So my mom found out before I did, I don't know how that's possible, but uh, some of my mom goes, uh, do you need us to pick up anything? Do you need us to, I was like, thanks mom, no, it's all right. You know, just chill at the house, I'll be home in about 30 minutes. How did she find out? Mom power, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's, I don't have any social media, so I guess it probably leaked and I probably just got out of the room and I was like, how does my mom already know? But you know how things work. How, how, how can you be a young guy with no social media? <laughs> I mean, I could really go in deep on social media, but you guys are media guys, so I don't want to go too deep. No, I think that uh, if used correctly, it's an amazing thing. Um, honestly, I just don't care. That's the biggest thing. So it's like, I have, you know, I have viewpoints and stuff like that, that I have realized, not always, that some things you can put on social media because you can't see the face-to-face -face interaction. I mean, there are people who you know, do face-to-face you know, -face interaction, but I just feel like a lot with social media, or the reason I don't like it is, um, as a Christian man, there's a lot of stuff that pulls you away from the Lord on, the, on social media. Um, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, I was in a relationship that, you know, girls hitting you up, all this other stuff, you know, people saying bad things about you. It's, it might have been one play, I gave up a sack, and everybody has something to say, you know. That's not good for you, you know. Most of the time, if you can keep a level head, you know, most of the time, you know, what I've heard is, you know, just everything's an overreaction, especially on social media. So it's like, oh, he sucks. He doesn't suck. Oh, he's the best. He's not the best. You know what I mean? It's, it's just an overreaction. So being able to take everything with a grain of salt kind of got me through social media. And then I was just like, I, I have everybody's number that, you know, I really love. So I can call them and talk to them. <sighs> Twitter, probably. I probably had Twitter for like two or three years. Facebook I had for like 12 years. And I got rid of that probably a year and a half, two years ago. So I didn't have any social media going into my senior year of college. So. From your mom or was it? Uh, I think both. Both came in at the same time. No, I, it was a text. My mom, my mom knew I was probably busy. But so did she live in? Did she live in that Buffalo area? Or? No, no, no. My mom, my mom and dad were driving up from uh, Northern Virginia or oh, okay. Central Virginia, Richmond, yeah. Virginia, to watch the game. To watch the game. So maybe they heard it on the radio or something. Maybe. I think it's a mom power. I think my mom was just like, <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. He was traded, Cleveland. Okay. Mm -hmm. But so. Uh, it, it, it was an experience, but, uh, you know, blessed to be here. It's a great opportunity.